How to open Courier Mac the basic way. Start your Mac in recovery mode by pressing Command plus R key after you press the power button. It will take a bit longer to get there. That's normal. Don't be worried. Just keep the keys pressed. In here, we have to disable the system integrity protection called SIP. Open a terminal window and first check the status of SIP by entering the command CSR util status. As we can see, it's usual enabled. Enter the following command to disable the SIP. CSR util disable. Reboot your Mac. If you usually hide the system drive icons on your desktop, please change the finder settings to that you can see them. Download Martin Law's version of OpenCore from the file section in our Facebook group which includes all necessary files. You will find the link in the description below. Unzip the file. Open the folder and you see three icons. The Bless Script, Clover Configurator, and the EFI folder. Let me explain these files first. The Bless Script, it defines where your Mac have to look for the alternate OpenCore bootloader. Clover Configurator, be warned. This tool was initially created for the Hackintosh community. It should only be used for the reason described in this tutorial. It is a very powerful tool that can break your CMP. So please do not experiment with it other than what we are doing here. We are using it to force macOS to show us the hidden EFI partition inside the main hard drive. Nothing more, nothing less. Warning! Do not use any other tool or function in the Clover configurator. The EFI folder. This contains the magic itself, the alternate bootloader and the config.plist which defines the several configurations of your Mac when you change it. For today, we just keep it as it is. Let's start with Open Courier Mac. Open the Clover configurator depending on your security settings. With holding the command key and right-clicking the mouse button, navigate to the left side and click in the tool section, Mount EFI. Depending on the number of drives in your Mac, the shown number and names on the drive shown in the partition scheme will vary from mine. Below, you find the EFI partitions of your drives. Find the correct drive where your macOS is located. Mostly, it should be the drive Disk 0 S1 like in my configuration. Click on the right side Mount Partition and confirm with your system password. Your current hidden EFI partition is now showing up on your desktop. Open the new EFI partition. Depending on your macOS installation, it could contain a folder named Apple and Boot. If so, leave the folder as it is. Simply drag and drop the contain of the OpenCore EFI folder to the EFI folder from the former hidden EFI partition. Run the Bless OpenCore script by double-click and confirm with your system password. That's it! Time for our reboot. As you will notice, the boot picker screen will appear. This is part of the magic of OpenCore. It is able to simulate the actual Apple opening screen even on a non-flash Apple video card. Now choose your macOS installation and boot macOS. Congratulations! You have done the basic open core installation. These are added benefits and almost native look-alike boot picker and hardware accelerated D and encoding of video footage plus the possibility to expand the life of your beloved Mac with updates to future operating systems such as Catalina and Big Sur and beyond.
how to set up and configure the config.plist to install macOS Catalina or even upcoming Big Sur, you will find the informations in the other videos. Feel free to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new released videos. Please click the subscribe button and the bell to receive updates in your email account. Clicking on the like button also encourages us to continue. Thank you for your patience.